Rev up your engine. Don't copyright me. Copyright me to copyright me to copyright me. Please, I'm really broke. I cannot afford that. Some people ask me, Sean, why do you drive a Scion XB? Well, it was passed down from my mom, and I think it's a wonderful car. But another good reason is it's pretty tremendous reliability. Pop the hood, and we'll give it a check. This is a 1NZFE, same engine used in the Echo, and the Yaris, and the Prius. You can reach all around this puppy. Oh yeah. And um, the parts I wouldn't say are a dime a dozen, but you don't really have to replace them all that often. The only thing I've ever had to fix engine-wise was a coil pack. So let's talk about comfort on this car. If we look inside, we have nice cushy cloth buckets. They're a little rip right here, but that's a common spot. Ah, I have the seat all the way back. I Now I do. Um, you can see the hood well. Um, you can see all around you, basically. This thing has good visibility. There's another trick up its sleeve. I'm going to let you figure it out. It's very subtle. What? This thing has a five-speed? They even put the shifter in a good place. You don't have to take your hand very far off the wheel to reach it. And it has a nice short throw. Really crisp. And if we look over here, we got the climate controls. We have the AC that has to be recharged. Air conditioner, rear defroster, hazards. These are the controls for the wipers, turn signals, and the power mirrors. There's not a lot. So last time I checked, that was 511. Now, quick note, I have that front seat all the way back. If I open this back door, and I step into the back seat, I barely have to step down. Look at that! Look at all that room! I have like, six inches! I can put my feet under the seat! You cannot do that in normal cars. And for the storage, look at that. It's really ample. I keep my, you know, car stuff back here. And if we take that out, you can actually see, there's quite a bit of room. Also, if we remove this cover, Keep a little oil down here. It's just a good thing to carry. Well, let's say you're not with anybody and you're hauling a load. <laughs> if we drop the seats. Crap. Uh, this video is unscripted. <laughs> oh shit, I'm recording. You can see there's an immaculate amount of room. This is more than ample. It's a big, reasonably comfortable bed. I mean... You can camp in this car! Now you could go to a Walmart RV overnight parking, and without canvas or assembly, you could pitch a tent. Another thing worth mentioning, and this is an exterior thing, um, this is an old person car. I mean, it's like a grand marquee. There's old people that drive this, and on only old people are seen driving this. You know why that's cool? If you... Go out with your friends at night, and you're having a good time. You are not going to look like you're up to no good to some officer. They're going to be like, ah, oh, it's, it's just it's just old man down the road looking for his kid. So what about performance in this hot hatch? You can see it's not the most powerful, but that's really awesome. I'm going to tell you why. This engine is built to be a long-lasting engine. 200 or 300,000 miles from one of these is nothing out of the ordinary because it's a really dependable engine you can find in Yaris, Echo, and you know, it still has reasonable performance. You can get to 60 in 12 seconds. It can climb reasonably steep hills, and at the same time, you can still get 37 miles to the gallon in this. Driving like a maniac, of course, you're going to get anywhere from between like 29 and 31, but it's it's still good. Maybe if you have a child, you know, and uh, they're just starting to drive and they need to learn how to drive stick, this is a perfect safe car. It's easy to drive, it gets good gas mileage, it has plenty of room, and there's so much potential it has. So if you never want to miss one of my new trash content videos, remember to subscribe.